Let me show you how you can create this fire burning effect in Photoshop. Create a new file, size 1920 by 1080 pixels. Drag these images to Photoshop. You can find them in the link in the description. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. Let's make this image black and white by going to Image. Adjustments. Choose Hue Saturation. Let's remove all the saturation. Now choose this layer. Hold Alt and click on the mask to add an inverted mask. Choose the brush tool. Choose the soft round brush. Set the opacity and the flow to 100%. Set the foreground color to white. Follow this process. We are showing parts of the black and white image using the mask. I left some part of the hand colored on purpose to make it look that only parts of the hand was burned. Now let's drag another image to Photoshop. Right click and choose Create Clipping Mask. This only affects the layer below, which is the hand. Change the blending mode to Multiply. You can duplicate this layer and move it to the second hand to do the same effect there. Now go to Adjustment Layer and choose Levels. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below. Let's add some contrast to make it look more realistic. Follow this process. Hold Shift and select all of these layer, and let's group them. Rename the group as you want. Let's create another group by clicking on this icon. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Gradient Map. Double-click on the gradient and let's choose these colors. Follow these steps. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Let's rename this group. Choose this layer. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Solid Color. Choose the black color and then press OK. Drag this layer to the back. Create a new layer. Choose the group. Change the blending mode of the group to screen. Now choose this empty layer. Choose the brush tool. Set the foreground color to white. Instead of manually painting here and having trouble with this, let me show you a cool trick on how you can do it. First, I will go right here to the channels. You can find channels here in Windows tab. Hold Ctrl and click on the RGB channel to make a selection. Choose this group. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Solid Color. Choose any color and then press OK. Drag this layer outside the group. Click on the mask. Press Ctrl-I to invert it. Now press Ctrl-L to load levels to the mask. I will move this all the way to the right like this till I see these gaps. This looks good. Hold Alt and drag this mask to this layer here. Delete this layer. We don't need it anymore. Click here. Choose the brush tool. Set the foreground color to white. Follow this process. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible.
Follow this process. Here's the before, here's the after. Choose this layer. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Hue Saturation. You can change the color of this if you want. Now let's drag another image to Photoshop. Change the blending mode to screen. Press Ctrl L for levels, and let's adjust it like this. If there are still some black in your image, just adjust the levels till the black color disappears. Add a layer mask. Choose the brush tool. Set the foreground color to black. We are using the layer mask to mask out part that we don't want to be visible. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. You can take your time on this. Click on the mask and start hiding the parts that you don't want. You can keep on duplicating the fire layer and adjusting it till you are satisfied. You do the same thing for the second hand. Here's the final results. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Also watch other tutorials in my channel.